guess life goes beyond just the memory. I think that moment is something that we can share. We can say we went there. We can say Ilias went there. We're gonna go back in time in his memories, aren't we? That's right. We're trying to see if we can see if we can remember more things. My daddy keeps talking about it and he really wants to go back. What about the war? Do you think I should ask him some questions about it? I don't know what he will remember, but uh, of course, you, know, you can ask him, you're the doctor, you the one who know how he will react. Well, I feel guilty as well that this was all happening. I don't know why she should go through all this. <laughs> I've never seen my father cry. I've never seen my father like that before. We did it because I think, again, it's, it's owed to Ilias. Especially his father. Yeah, of course he had to say goodbye. Of course he had to have this moment with him. Nicola, tell us a little bit about this documentary, Storia. Thank you, uh, Maria. It's a, a story about my papu. Uh, we went back to Greece to try to retrace some of his steps. He was suffering with Alzheimer's at the time, and we couldn't bear to stand that this story would slowly fade with his disease and it's something that we wanted to capture for us. So the trip was, do you feel beneficial to him as much as for the rest of you? A lot of the, uh, the doctors and the experts were saying, why take him? Why unbury everything that the mind works so hard to suppress? The mind, the way the mind works, it doesn't want to remember the bad. It tries to put it, lock it away in a corner. And essentially, we did actually go into those places, my bubble's mind, and, and, and bring him up again. That's why the tears, you see the tears, you see the moment when he goes back into the house, singing for his brothers, calling out to them, saying that they're no longer there. I saw the video twice, cried each time just as hard. It's one of the most real stories I've seen, and this is why I'm here with you today. Do you think this documentary is actually going to be beneficial in, say, different institutes? that have dementia or clinics where they can show children of people that have dementia who can then have a clearer understanding of what that person probably needs or is going through? I, I see this documentary, it doesn't go down the scientific explanation and uh, you know, talking about the def definition of Alzheimer's dementia, but I do believe that it has some significance where it shares the emotional story, the hurt and pain that people go through and the confusion that they're living in between their present, their past, and what it means for their future as well. This isn't about my papu or ya, it's about the story that which they went through, what my papu went through, the pain, the, the suffering, and it's something which I think a lot of families can relate to. And I, I encourage you greatly to pick up your camera and start recording your own story. Start recording which makes you unique compared to everybody else. The world is full of beautiful stories and they have to be shared. And I think this is what brings us together as a culture as well. Be it in this beautiful land, be it in back in the motherland or wherever it is. Were there, were there times during the filming where you felt you couldn't cope or your grandfather couldn't cope? Yes, many, many. Uh, one particular, I, uh, it was halfway through the shoot and I walked, walked into the house and I went to the bathroom and I, I, did, I, had, a, just, I had a breakdown, I thought, what am I doing to my papu? And I was in tears and I was in tears and and I called out and I uh, call it what you will, uh, divine intervention or my my whatever it is. I literally was picked up off my feet and there was like nothing had happened. And I went out and I kept filming. And I do have to say, I felt that strength from somewhere that it's going to be okay and papu is going to be okay. Don't get me wrong. Some nights he just went home and he just. He was just out of it. It was just so hard for him to go through that and to cry it and to bring up that memory. To just imagine going to your brother's grave when he was 18 and he was, he, they said they gutted him and threw him in a pit with along with so, much, so many other people. And just imagine the first time you heard that, they said, don't cry. He lost his mother, his biological mother giving birth to his brother. His stepmother was murdered. His brother was murdered. His two brothers died to a sickness. Minkless. Minkless. Nicola, thank you so much. It was pleasure. a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Maria. Please watch this video and make sure you have a box of tissues with you. You will not regret it. <laughs>